fix the road enough. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up these. It's so hard to do with um, just the one hand, but just so you see how easy this is. If you're allowed to use your stove, if you're a child watching this and you're allowed to use the stove, this is very hot. But look, I'm cooking it on, I'm going to turn it up to almost high because that's how I roll. And it's okay because I'm going to keep an, a really good eye on it so that it doesn't, you know, and if you're worried, stick around, you know, don't walk off and do other things. Okay, so I know I jump around a bit with my conversation because I'm all over the place. I like am very just scatterbrained. Oh yeah, so back to the ice roads. So on the way to the farm, the main road that goes up to the farm, I've had to actually park near the paved road and walk up the hill, which was kind of treacherous, and people were spinning out and going too fast, and a couple days ago, you know, Melanie offered to take care of my horses, so that was a blessing. Yesterday, I parked at the bottom of the hill. One of the neighbors offered to drag my hay up there in his truck and give us a lift up the hill, so I thought that was nice. So I'm just flipping it and you see how it's like bubbling. This is going to be your pizza crust. Or it can be for sandwiches. Or it can be for Passover because there's no leavening in it. So this is how I learned to make it. And I felt like God was blessing me because I said it again for another minute. The, the minute is not relevant to cooking. You just have to be here standing over it and make sure that it doesn't get burnt. And my pan is so hot, it's smoking. See how it's getting bubbles, though, and it's getting a little brown? So my back burner is not as hot, so I'm going to shove everything back there that I want. And I'm going to shut the back burner off. My front burner is smoking hot. But you can see how this starts to take shape, right? Well, anyways, we've had straight-up rain. Look how puffy that is. I love when it puffs. Can you guys see? Th this is because the air bubbles get in it. Look at it. It's like a pillow. Okay, I'm turning off my burner. That's hot enough. I'm going to flip this over one more time just to make sure like the doughy spots were covered. Do you see how puffy that is? There's like a big air pocket in there, big air pocket there. These are all puffy. Look at all the air pockets. Okay, so that is my easy pita. Okay. But now, how to turn this into pizza. Okay, so I have to put this down over here to show how I'm doing my pizza. I'll just put this back up. Okay, so this is how I do my pizza. So I'm going to take this stuff off the hot stove over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is my onion. So I have a mandolin because I don't like to mess around with spending like 40 hours cutting anything. So I'm using this. And it has a safety thing on it. But I'm not using the safety thing. So you guys be careful when you use your mandolin. So anyways, yeah, I've had to walk up to the horses. Melanie fed them. And then that same day I came at like 3 o'clock and there was a Penske truck jackknifed in the middle of the road. I had to crawl through their cab to get across because the sides of the road are so high that I couldn't get over. So this is going in my pan and I'm going to fry it up. Meanwhile, I had some turkey sitting in water. I've got my
So this was frozen. So if you have like cold cuts or something, I have like frozen cold cuts. And everything I try to use organic. So I've got over here, I'm sauteing up my onions. Now, like I said, kids, if you're doing this, you probably shouldn't have fire going on in your house unless your parents let you use the stove. My parents let me use the stove, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back down, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Because these are my toppings for my pizza. So I'm cutting like a big chunk of this off and let's see. I was looking for my scissors because I used those last time. If you're not allowed to use knives, you can always cut food with scissors. I want a couple mushrooms in there. I don't know. I'm gonna wash about three of these. Three of these mushrooms, they're also organic. Okay, so I've washed those. And now I'm just going to chop them up and saute them with the onions. And then I'm going to grab a couple of pineapple chunks so I can throw that on my pizza too. Now basically your pizza is going to be all cooked. The only reason I have my toaster oven on is to melt the cheese on top. Everything is going to be already cooked. So that's why I personally like to do my pizza this way. I do my omelets this way too, where I just cook everything separate and then build the omelet after. Because it never looks good if I do it the other way. Okay, so I really love I really love pineapple pizza. I don't eat pork anymore. I've got why I don't eat pork. Uh, it's part of the food laws. And a lot of people think that when God's son died on a torture stake that he made unclean foods clean. But that's really not the case and there's a lot of reasoning on it. So... I have included those links under worship in my description on my other horse videos that I've posted recently. Okay, so I just cut up my pineapple. And I'm going to add that in. So see, it's all going in the pan and it's getting sautéed. And that's it. Just those ingredients. Mushrooms, onions, chicken breast, pineapple chunks. This is done sauteing. I'm going to shut that off. Give it a quick stir. And it's just going to sit there for a second. So and now I'm going to build the pizza. So, here we go. I'm going to take that crispy side. And I'm going to need to shred my cheese. So, I'm going to shred my cheese. I know this all seems like easy to make. Like anybody could just make this. But, I mean, some people just don't even know how to cook anything from scratch. I didn't. I didn't know how to make any of this. Like, for me, I didn't want to make pizza the old-fashioned way where you have to let it rise and it gets complicated with yeast and all this other stuff. This is, like, literally the unleavened Passover bread. Pita. Bread. That's perfectly plain. And then I'm going to build my pizza. 
So here, here we go. This is my pizza right here. I think I'm going to pop two on there. Okay, hoping that you, that you guys can see this. So this is my pizza sauce. And like I said, I try to just get everything organic. So I'm not putting a ton of pizza sauce on. I just put a blob in the middle and I just spread it out to the sides. Like that's a decent amount, you know? Then it might even be just a smidgen's too much, but that's okay. I do like extra sauce. When I ever when I when I ever got pizza, I kind of always got it with extra sauce. So I'm gonna just put like a little bit over here. And you guys can add like frozen spinach leaves or you can get spinach. But yeah, my um my toaster is on like wicked hot right now. There's like levels of hot. There's like low, medium, hot, and then wicked hot. So my stove is on wicked hot right now. So I'm gonna grab some of my yummy topping morsels and just spread them on. They're already hot, you can see this. Like you really don't even need to like cook any of this in the oven, but I do because I really love to just have that cheese melted on top. So so there's our little pizza. Hopefully that can be better. And I try to make these videos organized and short and they never end up being like that. I go 